All right, Shalom. Um, first of all, I want to say our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechak Wadash. Uh, double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS, uh, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Um, this is an article here. I believe I, yeah, this was in the group chat. Uh, this is uh, BreakingDefense.com. And it says here, this is uh, American troops right here. I'll read this. Well, I'll read the title. It says, Army Spreads Wings with Dark Eagle Hypersonic Missile Hardware. So this new missile here is called the Dark Eagle. <laughs> it's funny in the name, too. I, I just realized Dark Eagle, Obadiah, right? Who 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 calls themselves the Eagle? Who Who uses the Eagle as their image? You see? Matter of fact, let me let me go there. Uh Obadiah, right? Obadiah. Obadiah. Right, this is uh Obadiah verse four. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and th though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. You see? The most high, so th this is what America they they put that image of the eagle as a re representation of themselves. You see, it's all over their dollar bill. If you go to their um, museums or hell or on on certain army lapels, right? They have what? They have that eagle there, right? I believe on the, on the American flag they have a. Uh, on the on the top of the American flag, on that pole, they have what, an eagle, you see, that's speaking about America. And what the what did the Most High say? He said, "Thence will I bring thee down," saith the Lord. You see. Anyway, that wasn't I wasn't even really going to bring that out, but uh, yeah. So this is um a weapon. This is their weapon. Really, it's the Most High's weapon because it's uh, it's his technology. He he uh, instilled in the minds of the Smiths, the mo modern day Smiths or the scientists. All right, but this is what the Most High is going to use to destroy the nation of Edom, destroy the e Edomite kingdom. Right? It says the delivery is a significant milestone for the Army's long-range precision fires modernization effort. The U.S. Army announced Thursday that soldiers have received the first prototype hardware for its long-range hypersonic weapon, dubbed the Dark Eagle. Okay, right? But this is what the Most High is going to use to not only bring down the Edomite kingdom, but he's going to use this to judge the nation of Israel, or the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Right? So let me go ahead to my first scripture. This is Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. I'm going to jump down to... The 22nd verse, right? Because in, in, amongst our people, or you know, especially in them damn churches, they, they like to say that, oh, the Most High hates sin but loves a sinner or whatever. This scripture and plenty of other scriptures say otherwise, right? This is first as, uh, I'm sorry, second as is 15 and 22. My right hand shall not spare sinners. You see? My right hand shall not spare sinners. So just that first line right there should pit, should instill fear. In the nation of Israel, it should instill fear in two thirds of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But the problem with them is, and the reason why they're part of that two thirds club, is they don't have a healthy fear of the Lord. That's, that's what's missing. They don't fear the Lord enough. Hence, they continue in their wickedness. Hence, they're willful, willfully ignorant. Hence, when you tell them to do right, they can't do right, they continue to do wrong. Okay, and, and, and curse you out in the process when all you're doing is trying to give them, uh, pretty much you're, 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 you're trying to give them salvation, right? You know, you try to tell them who they are, the most high, you, 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 you basically you give them the gospel, but they reject it, right? It says, my right hand shall not spare sinners and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. Goes on to read. The fire is gone forth from his wrath and hath consumed the foundations of the earth and the sinners like the straw that is kindled. Right. And that fire is speaking about what that fire is speaking about. This right here. That's what the most high is going to use to consume the earth. He's going to use this to consume the nation 
of Esau and as well as the other nations, but primarily, you know, when it speaks about the lake of fire, that's speaking about America, right? That's, that's speaking about America being pelted with so many missiles, 200 million missiles, that the land mass of America resembles a lake. It, it resembles a, a, a ocean of fire, and that's exactly what's going to happen, okay? So Esau, he thinks he's gathering up weapons for his defense, right? Really, it's for his demise. He might, they have this and other weapons. They might not even be able to shoot, shoot all of them all. Well, we know they're not, you see, because the attack isn't going to come from all nations. All nations is, is going to be, is going to, the Most High is going to instill, all right, all the, all the, all the nations to what? Uh, uh, um, use their weapons that the Most High created. He's going to use their weapons on America. He's going to have them point their missiles, their silos over here to this country, the North Country, to America to destroy it. Why? Because that's what the Most High wants to do. You see? Um, but part of that, part of that stubble, matter of fact, it says it right here. It says, and the sinners, I'll read that part again. The fire is going forth from his wrath and hath consumed the foundations of the earth. And the sinners, like the straw that is kindled, right? Right? So the people that so the people that are here, which is not only going to be two-thirds of the nation of Israel. It's going to be others, too. It's going to be the other nations, right? Because that's what the Most High is doing. He's judging the kingdom of Esau. Anybody that's over here that's not going to be delivered. Is going to be part of that stubble. It's basically going to be stubble. It's going to be that, 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 the, 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 the kindler of, of, uh, of, of that fire. Okay. All right. So next scripture, I'm gonna to go to what was it? Peter's. First Peter's one and f I'm sorry. First Peter's four and seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and if it begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High, and that's very simple, right? What what end is going to be for them? That end is going to be um, thermonuclear destruction, right? Oh, hold on, let me get this. That this is what's going to be their end. Okay, they're going to have a missile with their name on it, man. Right. So the Most High is not only going to judge. Esau, he's, he, he's not only going to take down the, the nation of Edom, he's also going to judge two-thirds of our people. He's going to judge two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native Americans. So, I mean, look, if any time anytime you think about going off or you think you might be getting weak in the spirit, just just think of this. Just think of this is not worth a missile because to take to be part in a lake of fire, to be part of that 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 stubble, to be part of what kindles that fire and makes it grow, that's that's that should be enough to put fear in anybody. Okay. If you if you need a little you know a, a spiritual booster, watch some videos, read as well as just think, man, it ain't worth a missile. I don't I don't want to be part of that uh that lake of fire. And that should be enough to kick your ass in a gear. You see? All right. I'll leave you with that. I'll leave this in the description. Uh, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters were edified. Uh, until the next show, Shalom.